Sometimes tasks don't get done. I don't know if you can <laughs> see behind me, but there's actually a giant pile of laundry on the bed. Uh, and things don't get done for a variety of reasons, because of procrastination, because there's some other priority, because you just forgot to do them. But what's really important is that you have some mechanism for making sure that you're made aware of anything important that's not done yet, both for yourself and for your team. So we at Relay.app use a pretty simple workflow that every day sends us a summary of all of the open, urgent issues that we still have to deal with that day. And it's a really, really useful workflow, and it only takes like two minutes to set up. And so uh, in this video, I'll just show you how to set up for yourself, and I bet you'll find it useful for your team. So let's get started. The first thing we need here is a trigger, and the trigger for this workflow is gonna be a recurring schedule because we want it to happen every day. And the default for a recurring schedule trigger is daily, at 8 a.m. Pacific time, which is actually a pretty good time and cadence for this particular use case of a summary of open issues. Then once we have our trigger set up, the first and probably you know most important step in the workflow is a find step. And this is the step that's gonna look through whatever task tracker or issue tracker that you use and return the set of issues that you wanna include in your summary. We use linear, and so I'm gonna use this find issue step. And the really important thing to configure in this find issue step is the filter criteria that will govern which issues you want to include in this report. So in our case, we want everything where the status is to do and where the priority is urgent. Uh, because we wanna keep it to the very small set of really, really urgent and important things that we wanna do that day. If no issues are found, we wanna continue. That would be a great thing to happen if we had no urgent issues open on a given day. And if more than one issue is found, we wanna combine them all into a list because we wanna write a single Slack message that summarizes all of the open issues. Now, now that that's done, uh, the next step is gonna be to create a path because we need to deal with these two cases. One is there's no issues, and the second is there are issues. And to do that, we're gonna create a rule-based path. Path A is gonna be the, the happy path happy but rare path with no issues. And in this case, to find the, the no issues condition, we're gonna add a rule, we're gonna select the list of issues, and we're gonna trigger this path whenever the list of issues is empty. If the list of issues is empty, we're gonna send a Slack message. It's gonna go to our customer issues channel and it's going to say, no open issues today. Woo. Woo. Now, in the other case, there are open issues. And what we need to do is write a slightly more involved Slack message, because that Slack message is going to include a summary of all of the open issues. Again, it's going to go to our customer issues channel. Here is a list of open urgent issues to tackle today. And now we're gonna use a really cool feature called unrolling that's gonna let us put all of the issues that are find step found into the same Slack message. To use unrolling, which is really useful again for using lists like this in, in Slack messages or emails, you're gonna hover over the list of issues in the data selector, and then you're gonna select how you want to unroll them. In my case, I wanna unroll them as a numbered list. And then within this little unroll widget, you decide what you want to display for each issue. So in this case, I want to display the, um, the title of the issue. Oops, clicked the wrong place there. I want to show the title of the issue. I want to show the assignee's email address. And I want to include the URL of the issue um, so that people can easily access it if they need to. And that's all there is to it. The workflow is gonna run every day at 8 a.m. It's gonna look up issues with this status, this combination of status to do and priority urgent. It's gonna combine all the issues into a list. If there are no issues, it's gonna send a message that says no open issues today. If there are issues, it's gonna send a Slack message that unrolls all of the issues with the title, the assignee, 
and the URL. Again, we found this really useful to keep us on track and keep open issues top of mind. And I hope you find it useful too. If you like this kind of tutorial video on AI and automation content, please, you know, like subscribe, all that good stuff. And if there's a particular use case you'd like us to cover, uh, feel free to request it in the comments below.